Hi everyone, welcome to Middle Age Earth, I'm Randy. Hey, and I'm John, and today we're going to be talking about Game of Thrones, and there are going to be lots of spoilers. That's right, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. We are going to recap Season 4, Episode 10, the finale of all finales. So let's get started. Alright, so the show started off right immediately with Jon Snow on his suicide quest to save the world or whatever he was doing. And he heads out to see uh, Mance, who is the king uh, beyond the wall, the leader of the Wilding. So while Jon Snow and Mance are negotiating, they are attacked. You hear all this, these horses, the sound of all these people coming, you think, oh, it must be the White Walkers, they're coming, this is gonna be exciting. No, it's just a bunch of soldiers from, you know, with people with the Red Witch and all that stuff. Right, but you gotta give Stannis credit. He has done absolutely nothing, or at least accomplished nothing by himself the entire season. So this time he actually did something all on his very own. And so now he's just kind of like the token king of the north now, right? Yeah. We think one of the most interesting discussions was truly Matt saying that we want sanctuary beyond the wall because winter is coming. Remember uh, that Sam, our little portly guy, he had ran into the, the, the White Walkers. Remember that big White Walker on the horse and all of them were following him and, and Sam hid behind a rock and they all passed him up and that wasn't too long ago. So where did they all go? Yeah, what happened to the White Walkers? Well, you are gonna love this because we have an exclusive behind the scenes footage just for you of what exactly happened that caused the White Walkers to get a little bit, um, how well shall we say, um, just to focus from where they were actually going. So here it is, watch this. I'm telling you, it's this way to the wall. No, I'm pretty sure it's the other way. No, I'm telling you, it's that way. Well, why don't you check the map? No, oh, for God's sakes, checking the map again. I'm gonna do this all day long, I see. It's that right there. there. 30, see, look, right there. I see it. It is that way, I told you. Okay, we're on our way. So there you go, exclusive footage just for you on what happened with the zombies. Good stuff, right? Oh, zombies. Oh, aren't they cute? Hilarious. <laughs> Man, they don't know where they're going. Yes. All right, so now we move on to Cersei and her father, Tywin, having a, a fun conversation about uh, him saying, uh, you need to marry so-and-so, and she says, I don't know, what did she say? She says, oh hell no, I'm not marrying him. So she has the conversation with him, love it. Cersei says, you know, I'm not going to do this, and if you try to even make me, I'll tell the world, and then you won't be a leader anymore anyway. So that's kind of how that ended. Then she runs to Jamie's room, and she says, I choose you, and they make out, and they do their thing, and it was kind of gross. Yeah. Again, yeah, but <laughs> whatever. <Yeah. laughs> The next part of the episode is with the uh, dragon lady. Dragon lady. And she's like listening to people and they're coming into the her throne room and <gasps> this guy comes in, he brings, he's all crying, he drops his bag and there's like the bones of some baby and he's like, oh, what do uh -oh. you dragons burn my baby? Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. And she gets all upset, she's like, oh, you killed the baby. And she goes down and, and she says, get those dragons and chain them up. And so she chains up the dragons, she says, we're crying. <laughs> and one of the dragons is missing, so mm, that's that one. All right, that was pretty much it, yeah. yeah. So next up is Braun and his little merry band of folks that he's with heading to the pretty red tree in, on the hill, right? And so they finally make it there, and then we have our first death, which is the cute little blonde boy. I don't even know his name. I don't know. Don't know his name. You know, he okay. can't be that great of a character. No. Name. Sorry. He, he, he dies. Right, so skeletons raised from the ground, and they fight. Rah, 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 rah. Children come out of this little tree and they fire and they help Bronn to safety and they get into the tree and then Bronn meets the, finally, you know, all, what, four seasons later, he finally meets the three-eyed raven, which is some old guy who's sitting in some weird Well, it's an old man, tree. he's all tangled up in roots. Yeah. And he's yeah. like, oh, I've been watching you guys this whole time, you've been alive. And then, the, and then little Bronn's like, oh, does this mean I'm gonna be able to walk? He's like, no, you're not gonna be able to walk. <laughs> no, walk, walk. You'll, you'll be able to fly. He's like, and you right. can tell, he's like, oh, oh, you messed the end of that crap. one. Crap, yep, that was pretty much it. You'll learn to fly, so whatever. All right, so 44 minutes into the episode, we finally come to what must be the greatest one-on-one -on -one battle between two great characters that I think Game of Thrones has ever seen, and that is between Brienne and the Hound. 
<laughs> the, the, the hell? <laughs> Asking problems with my collar. Oh, you have a problem with your collar? Yeah. <laughs> it's having problems with It was with having me in the, in the throat. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's fucking me. <laughs> and then we decided to commemorate this beautiful moment that we would do a reenactment of the scene just for you. Again, exclusive behind the scenes footage reenactment yeah. only here. A action pack. Get action. ready for it. Get ready. Oh, boy. Get ready. Sound effects and everything. It's gonna blow your mind. Aya, you have to come with me. Why would I come with you? Because your mother tasked me with saving you. Oh, really? Where the hell have you been for the last two seasons? <laughs> well, well, that's a very good question, my dear. But your mother sent me away to fetch a couple bottles of milk at this local Circle K. Oh, no wonder. The Circle K's are very far from here. <laughs> I told you, they okay. really are. Okay, it's not very convenient. Off. I don't think I'll go with you. I think you should do something else, like fight the home. I was tasked with saving Arya, and that's what I'm going to do. Well, you're going to have to fight me for her. Oh, yeah, well, bring out my sword, and here we go. Let's fight. Ah. Ah. Oh, 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 my oh, gosh. Ow, 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 my head. Happening? My head. Oh, oh, oh. Down with you, oh, down with you. Oh. Down with you, down there. Down. I'll get you, Oh no, 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 not me. Ow, 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 ow. Pay ow. for this. Oh, ow, ow, in the balls, in the balls. Oh, oh, oh my balls. Yeah, I'm going to hit you in the ganja. Ah. Wow! Right? Wow! Was that amazing what? or what? What? Is my head still what on my battle. shoulders? Oh, wow! I mean, no. I need a drink after that. Yeah, that was amazing. That was exciting. Almost as good as the original. Almost as good as the original. I think it's pretty close. You yeah. can uh, do a thumbs up or put something in the comments to let us know what you thought and compare it to the original. But we thought it was pretty epic. Pretty epic. So the scene ends there with Arya going down the hill. She sees the hound who's looks like he's dying. And he's like, oh, you need to kill me. And then he throws a bunch of insults into her to make her mad, thinking that that will cause her to kill him. And she just, in a, such a great scene, she just takes his little bag of gold and then just leaves him to die. Yeah. He's like, please kill me, kill me. She's, she's like, I'm killing you. I'm out of here. You're gonna die and See, suffer. Bitch. I'm out of here. She's gone. gone. Yeah. She leaves. Yeah. But. In Game of Thrones fashion, if you don't see them die, true. are they really dead? So I That's have a feeling true. the Hound isn't really dead. Right. We will see him again. If you again. don't see them die, they ain't dead. the odds are they're coming back for you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, finally, this took 57 minutes. I looked at the TiVo. 57 minutes into the episode, we finally get to see what Tyrion's fate is. So Jamie comes into his prison cell and just releases him. Yeah. It's like, Tyrion, you're free. Come and they on. hug. They're like, oh, I love you. I love you, my brother. I love you. Be well. Be well. Faris is going to take you, and he's going to make you better. Yay. For whatever reason, Jane leaves and says, OK, you go, Tyrion. Tyrion decides to go revisit his old Hand of the King room, where, you know, when, when he was Hand of the King, that's where he used to, you know, chill, hang out, right. watch TV, whatever. And so as he goes into the room, such a great scene again. So many great scenes. He sees this woman lying on the bed. You can't quite see her yet. You right. kind of see the mysterious legs. Mysterious woman. Mysterious woman. Mm -hmm. And guess who it is? It is his previous little lady friend, Shay. Right, Shay. Good old Shay. Right, you think they're gonna have like some romantic moment. Right. You, I think she's gonna confess. Right. I've seen this moment where she's gonna confess, oh, they made me say that. Right. And that the first thing she does when she, she hasn't seen him yet, right? She just hears him creeping up on her. Yeah. And she thinks it's daddy. And the first thing she, first thing she says is, my lion. Uh -oh. <gasps> I was like, oh no, she didn't. She did not just call daddy my lion. Yes, she did. Oh, because that was her pet name. Or Tyrion, so you could see right away his little eyes like that. Right, oh, he, was, he was a little upset. <laughs> Just the tap. But she was more upset than he was. Because, yeah, she was ready to kill her. Right, I think he was ready just to talk to her right. even though she said that. Yeah. And what does she do? She starts fighting with them, wanting to kill him. Yeah, she yeah, wanted to kill, kill his ass. She pulls out a knife. Yeah. She's like, rawr, 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 rawr. Yeah. And he just can't believe this is going on. And they smack each other a little bit. And 
uh, typical domestic violence type stuff. And then in a dramatic fashion, he he chokes her with her necklace and she dies. And she's gone. And she's like, that's her. She's wide eyed, upside down next to him. Yep. I'm and he sure says, is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're dead. That's it. Yeah. And again, this is how you know the character is dead. Eyes wide open, dead. Right. Shay's dead. Sorry, Sorry. Shay. You're gone. It's Bye -bye. over for you, girl. Goodbye. But that ain't the end of that scene yet, because then, as as he's sitting next to Shay, the camera pans in on his face, and you just see him like snap. Right. You just see this this snapping rage come over Tyrion, and he looks at this crossbow that's on the wall over there. And then you see him walking down the hallway with the crossbow just dragging along the ground because he's short. Right. It's not, yeah. very, it's not very dramatic. It was it's not I, as dramatic well, as you're portraying it. You know. He grabbed the crossbow and moved on. Next it scene. was very dramatic. Okay. It was very dramatic. He grabs the crossbow. He's dragging along the ground like it's the heaviest thing, but he has to take it with him to go find his father. So he goes, right. finds his father. I guess where his father is. He's on the crapper. He's on his own personal throne. Right, his own private throne. Right, his own game of thrones. Right. right, yes. And they have a little banter, a little discussion, and uh, Daddy does not recognize, you know, first Jamie has deceived him, Cersei is deceiving him, and now you have the third child deceiving him, and, you know, this, the name of this, the episode is Children of the Damned, right? So he does, it doesn't seem that Tywin has the concept that he's in any trouble at any moment during this conversation because he keeps calling Shay a whore. And then Tyrion says, don't you dare call her a whore. If you call her that one more time, whore, she's doomed! Shoots his ass! Right. Shoots his ass! Like he really cared he called her a whore after he just finished killing her Thank you. 20 seconds ago. Right. Hypocrite much. Right. Anyway, <laughs> so then, um, Tyrion says, you know, I'm your son. And me like, Tyr Tywin's like, you were never my son. Or I don't know, something like that. Something like that. And then he's like, I was always your son. Pew, shoots his ass again. Yeah. And, then, and then you see him go, Whoa. So again, that's how you know he's dead. Yeah. So now the king's gone. He's dead. And last but not least, Arya ends our storyline of the finale. Yes, the scene I've been waiting for. Pull out that coin already and say those magic words. What are the magic words? I don't know, legless something. What is it? I don't know, legless? Legless, <laughs> legless, 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 I don't know, what is it? It is Valor Magulis. Oh, Valor Magulis, I knew it was something. With the you were close, that, that... you were close. Okay, You were great. close. So yeah, so she goes to some port to find this port captain guy yeah. on the boat and says, I would need to go to Bravo. So he's like, get away from me. I, I ain't got time for you. And then she pulls out the coin and then she says, Valor Magulis. And he's like, he's like oh my God, I'm gonna oh, give you your own special you... room on this ship. You're a star girl. <laughs> Let's get on to that. So, like, all the paparazzi showed up and started yeah. taking her pictures. Like and... He discovered the most famous person he's ever met and he <laughs> knew he's gonna get be famous by hanging out with her. <laughs> right, it was a little yeah, funny. It was like the <laughs> Kim Kardashian moment. Oh my God, you're Kim Kardashian, get on the boat. <laughs> Just with no boobs and no butt. Right. Yeah, like whatever. So yeah, so she gets on the boat and that's the final scene where she is sailing off. Okay, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was our episode of Game of Thrones and our little spoiler episode. So I hope you enjoyed that. Yep, that is our recap for Season 4, Episode 10, the finale of Game of Thrones. We hope you enjoyed watching. If you want to leave any comments uh, in, the, uh, in the reply section or comment section, please do. Type them, type them now. And uh, we will see you all uh, next time. Okay, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.